Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Terratech. And we are going to continue where we left off. Now, one thing I wanted to show you guys is what I was going to do is come in here and build myself another bot with uh, either the uh, Venture blocks themselves, which we actually got a few of. We got the Standard block, which is 200, and the Venture Long block, which is twice as big, uh, for 300. So you actually get somewhat of a discount if you buy the bigger ones than you do from the smaller ones, or the same amount basically so that's kinda nice uh, and these these ones that are longer I've been told have twice the amount of hit points as the uh, s the single one so basically they take up twice the amount of space and you get twice the amount of hit points so it's it's evens out in the end but the price wise is better off if you buy the big ones uh, if you need those if you can actually use them now I was gonna come in here and buy the venture spring wheels and kinda create a bot that sits up a little higher off the ground and I, and I will eventually do that. They're 1200 a piece, so I kind of almost want to figure out what design it is, what the recipe is before I can build them. Uh, that way I could actually save a little bit of money. Uh, and then, of course, the Venture Hail Fire Rifles are pretty nice. We uh, discovered those as well. We also got the uh, Venture Little Stud Pulse Boosters, and I'll show you those in a second here as soon as we get out of this this build menu right here. But we also have a few, uh, you know, I'm not even sure what these things do. The Venture Front Spoilers. This thing makes your tech look like an F1 car and works as a spoiler. I don't know if that means that it increases the speed, if it allows your bot to have a little bit more uh, uh, responsiveness, you know, and like when you're trying to turn with some of these really fast Venture bots, you spin around in a circle three or four times just slightly, you know, turning from one direction to the other. So maybe this might help out with that. The same thing with the Venture G-Boy Spoiler. For an inner boy racer, this will keep your uh, you grounded at high speed. So maybe that will keep you from lifting up. I never really had the problem of lifting up with my my last guy, and he was pretty fast. So I don't know. We'll just have to play around with those. But I didn't really want to get those just yet because they are rather expensive. And there's a few things that I really need before we go off and actually make a venture buy. And one of them is a shield generator and a battery pack so that I can put those on my bot so they can regenerate uh, you know the damage that I take and prevent as much damage as possible because they're not very strong they're fast but very very weak and so until I discover those or until I learn the rest of those I don't really feel comfortable going out there uh, with a bot like that because again if you die in this game you have a chance uh, depending on you know how far away your base is and whether it got attacked while you were gone you know, you have a chance of having to start all over again, so you don't really want to jump ahead into your ready for. Oh, that guy's a pretty big guy. There's probably a few blocks on him that we could use. Let me back down the hill a little bit. These things get in the way. You got to remember that everything is uh, everything has a function. Everything has a mass to it. So if you have a whole bunch of these little tiny blocks in your path, you will get stuck on it. The enemy. I've seen we'll get stuck on it as well. Holy crap, look at all those mortars. Oh no, we're gonna charge, we're gonna charge. Come on, kill him, kill him. Oh man, look how he's destroying my bot. Oh, he's just destroying it. Nice. Oh, did I save any of it? Ah, oh, crap. Okay, well we got one mortar. So that means we discovered it at the very least and we can make more later on or buy more, I should say. You can always make them even if you haven't discovered them. Uh, that is another way to discover items. Uh, which way are we going to put this? We'll put it like that for now. Actually, it didn't go on there the right way, did it? It went down for some reason right there. There we go. And I've also had this bug since I logged in where it seems to want to push me to the left or the right for some reason. And it's kind of weird. I don't really understand it. Uh, like I'm just standing still right now, and it's literally pushing me. And it's not because I'm on a hill. Uh, it's been doing that the whole time, so I'm not sure if it's because the the big wheels that are on the front are maybe slightly too low and it's causing some kind of weird reaction. But it is somewhat of annoying when you're when you're sitting here trying to go, uh, you know, very very small increments. That's when it really gets in the way. Let me shoot my way out of here. Now the only downside I've really seen to having weapons hanging off the side of your vehicle is you have a greater chance of getting stuck on things like trees and, and that kind of sort because your weapon will hit them kind of like it is doing is it hitting anything? No, it's not hitting anything. Am I stuck? 
What's going on here? There's too many things in front of me, I think. Am I stuck on the rock? Yeah, I think I'm stuck on that stuff. Let me raise up. Come on, get over there. There we go. Nice, final. I had too much crap in the front of my my bot. So let's get back to our base so I can rearrange some of my items and uh, heal up because I am damaged. Basically, that last fight not only damaged most of my weapons and my blocks, but the blocks that I did get were, you know, again, damaged because I had been shooting them. So you got to remember that you do got to go back. You got to heal up. Unless, of course, you find that, that battery pack and then you can make your... Ah, oh, crap. This thing's stuck underneath there again. Yeah, this these wheels are big, but they have the tendency to have stuff kind of clog underneath it, which is unfortunate. I'm not sure why I'm getting stuck on this hill. Now, I could raise the wheels up so that they're slightly lower than what they're at right now, and that would allow my guy to get over these hills a little bit better. But I was never really running into the issue of getting stuck on this before, so I didn't really see any reason to to go ahead and pop for the the more expensive wheels because they were I think they were like 1200 and that's pretty high for now I mean if I take like 20 30 minutes and just do nothing but harvesting I could probably earn a, a pretty decent amount to be able to play around with but I kind of wanted to keep going because there's like I said a few pieces that I really really wanted and then when I was reading the the updates again I noticed that they said they had planes in this one that I that I remember that I really wanted to check out as well and see how those work. And so I'm kind of wanting to go off and explore a little bit more and just basically see if I can find any of that neat stuff that they have added. Because we have played this game before, and it's it's not like it's it's uh, nothing new, but you know when they add something new, I definitely want to check it out before they take it out because they may decide somewhere down the road that, uh, you know, it was a cool feature, but uh, maybe it was too overpowered, and that's what they, they end up taking that stuff out. And just kind of, if you don't get there early enough, uh, you may end up missing it, unless, of course, you go back and, and somehow get, like, an old update or something like that. So let's, um, let's move this around. I think I'm going to put this back here. And I may end up, yeah, I may end up just keeping that extra layer there so we'll move our gun out make sure to change the direction when I first started this game I would constantly constantly forget to change the direction so I'd have all these guns on my my vehicle and none of them were able to really do anything uh, you know what I could actually have it fire the other direction as well because it does have a range on it so if they get too close uh, that you can't hit them with those those mortars so I guess that would always be an idea to do. And I do have this guy right here. He's supposed to be a, uh, a security uh, turret. So if uh, any, any enemy attacks my base, they should be able to do something about it. Now, I have boosters on the back of my vehicle. If you look at this, if I hit my booster button, which I should have done when I was stuck, you'll see it fires this. And I'm holding it down still. It's still firing out. And there, it's finally done. It's uh, run out of energy. Now, it does take a few seconds to recharge, but once it does, you can again fire it as well. Oh, there's something over here. And an enemy protecting you. Oh, you're going down. You're a small little bot. Destroy him! Holy crap, look at all the mortars going in every direction. There, he's dead. Boom! I'm going to go ahead and pick up this nice little uh, resource gatherer. And I don't know if I really want to go that high up. Can we go underneath it? Oh, there's too many wheels. Well, we don't really need these wheels. I was just saving them because it was nice to have for, you know, another bot. But I think if we do another bot, it's probably not going to be those wheels that I want. So I don't really need to save that. Now let's back up a little bit. What is this over here? What is that? Is that an ice cream cone? It's an upside down ice cream cone. What? A unique way to keep your tech cool and prevent it from overheating. Are you serious? An ice cream cone. That is funny as crap. That is so stupid. Oh my god, that's cool looking. Can you imagine, like, having... Like, you could make yourself an ice cream truck now. You could do that with a roof and, and make it out of all these blocks. And the only thing you'd be missing is, like, having just, like, pure white blocks for the outside shell. I don't know about where you guys are from, but over here, all the ice cream trucks are always white, and 
<laughs> I don't really see any more any of those with the old fashioned, you know, like a big ice cream cone sticking out the top of it. But that's like classic, like 50 stuff that you see in movies. That would be funny to actually do. <laughs> we may end up doing that. If I can find more of those, if I can fashion more of them, <laughs> I think it would be funny to make an entire, like, roof covered in those in some kind of weird uh, pattern or something like that. So if you guys have any ideas on uh, what kind of uh, design you want me to see uh, in the future, it's going to be a while before we do that. Because, again, there's a, there's a lot of things we need to get to first. But And, again, I, I need to find out if there's even another, another way to make more of those. Uh, or if I'm just stuck with one, which is which would be kind of unfortunate. I would kind of like to have at least a few, maybe one on each corner or something, so that you can see like a nice, nice design from no matter what direction you're coming from. Uh, if you're a little kid, and I put a little doorway, a little window in there, <laughs> and maybe throw some of these resources as like treats or something. That would be hilarious. Oh my god, I can't believe uh, they they put something like that in there. Like they took the time to create little stuff like this and then they had the beard as well so yeah you could really get into the spirit of the holidays oh crap there's an enemy right over here next to my base wow, he's so close Did, was he waiting was he waiting until I got back to attack blow up there we go now that was not me firing uh, at the end I realized that once he starts flashing uh, you, you need to hold off but that was my my guy over here that was doing that I don't really have control over him he pretty much does whatever he feels like. And it's a good thing that I have him here because, again, when you're gone, something like that happens and you don't have anybody here to protect it. I've come back plenty of times on other playthroughs with other patches only to find that my entire base has either been broken apart and it's all scattered all over the ground. And that's going to take you, you know, a good 30, 40 minutes to get back the way you want. Uh, or it's been destroyed. And that's the worst feeling in the world because usually when you're coming back after an excursion out it's because you found some really cool blocks and you have like a new idea for a new bot and you, you kinda wanna sit there and do that well <laughs> you can't do any of that if all of this stuff is destroyed now if if you manage to save uh, the GSO payload terminal then you can rebuild if you have enough cash saved up but if you don't have that then you're you're pretty uh, pretty much out of luck on that so my suggestion, if you're worried about that and you're playing a dangerous area or you just uh, you don't really want that to happen to you... Where am I stuck on? Come on, back up, back up. Back up, come on. You can get off of this. Oh, I need to fix my wheels. It's, it's already getting to be kind of annoying. But yeah, if you're worried about that, my suggestion would be to have two payload terminals. Buy another one. Oh, no, don't, don't knock off my ice cream cone. Let's put that... Let's drop it right there for a second. I wonder if that thing ever melts completely. Like, will it? I mean, is it is it something that actually goes through stages or? Let's put it right there. It's so stupid looking. Oh my god. It's oh, I can't believe they actually took the time. I'm amazed. I'm amazed because most games nowadays don't seem to really put those like Easter eggs in there as much as they used to. I remember playing video games. Oh, and I came up with the same stupid slot as last time, didn't I? Never going to learn. But yeah, I, I remember playing video games back in the day that you would go off and explore like the strangest areas because 99% of the time, nothing there. But then when they finally do put something there, completely and totally worth it. And now, a lot of the time, the only reason to go off and explore, what am I stuck on? Like, there shouldn't be anything underneath me. I'm stuck again, aren't I? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna get some wheels here in a minute. But yeah, uh, yeah. Nowadays, you just get like an achievement for going off and exploring. You don't really get anything special. You don't get that little oh, that's cool stuff. You know, like kind of like what we just discovered. That that makes running off and just checking out what's there completely and totally worth it. Like I didn't even have to get a new item that was like gonna make a, a game changer for me. It was just the fact that it was a, a neat, cool funny little item that they took the time, they took that extra effort, because that shows me that if they're willing to take the extra effort on that, almost always they're willing to take the extra effort and make the game uh, just a really enjoyable playthrough, and as you guys have already seen, this game totally is. It's a, it's a great game, it's fun, uh, there's a million different ways you can play it. Uh, is there something here, or did I already discover this one? 
think I discovered this one already. Yeah, there's nothing here. Hmm, they need to fix that so d they don't show up on the map anymore. Because unless they regenerate, or unless if your base is destroyed, you get another one from this thing. Uh, I don't really think they should show up on the map. I, I guess unless it's saying that it's just on the map, it's a GSO block dispenser. But it never tells you what the item is. Still, I think it should not uh, really be here after you discover something. Because it's just uh, it's kind of confusing to keep up with what you've what you found and what you haven't found. But I think we're going to go ahead and stop the episode here, guys. Again, if you like these episodes, be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe definitely helps grow my channel, and I greatly appreciate it. I also want to make sure you guys feel uh, very welcome to leave comments down below. I've loved hearing your comments. I've loved hearing back from you guys, your ideas. Uh, in fact, this dump truck is one of the viewers' ideas. Not exactly like his design, but, uh, you know, I kind of got the idea of like a flatbed truck from him. So, again, guys, thanks for watching, and I will catch you next time.